Hello, this is Teacher Don. In this topic, we're going to learn about acceleration and velocity in physics. When we're talking about speed, it is distance over time, while velocity is displacement over change in time. Now, what does that mean? Displacement means distance covered plus the direction. Meaning when we're talking about the speed, we're just talking about the distance. But when it comes to velocity, it involves distance covered plus direction. Velocity is the quantity that designates how fast and what direction a point is moving. Velocity is equal to the displacement over time. Now when it comes to displacement, we can use this magic triangle to memorize the formula for the velocity. We have V dt. Velocity is equal to d over t. Distance is equal to v times t. And time is equal to d times v. The average velocity formula is equal to final distance minus the initial distance over time. An example of velocity is a car travels 30 miles per hour east. It has a direction, it has a speed, so it is a velocity. It means that in 1 hour, a car can travel 30 miles. In 2 hour, this car can travel 60 miles. In 3 hours, this car can travel 90 miles. Acceleration. Acceleration is the rate at which velocity changes with time in terms of both speed and direction. A point or an object moving a straight line is accelerated if it speeds up or slows down. Let's say for example A is equal to 8 meters per second and that is the common unit of acceleration, meter per second square. It means that there is a change in the acceleration within every second. So we have in 0 seconds, we have 8 meter per second. So we have 0, that is 8 meter per second. In 1 second, we have 16 meter per second because you will add 8. In 2, we have 24 because 16 plus 8 is 24 and 3 seconds is 32 meter per second so the formula for getting the acceleration is equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity over the time so let us have an example a car accelerates from 15 meters per second to 45 meters per second in 5 seconds calculate the average acceleration of the car so we have the initial velocity which is equal to 15 meter per second and we have the final velocity which is 45 meter per second and the change of time is 5 seconds and what we are looking for is the acceleration so how can we find the acceleration of this car given the initial and final velocity including the time spent so we will make use of the formula final velocity minus initial velocity over time so we will just substitute 45 which is the final velocity minus 15 which is the initial velocity over 5 so we have a is equal to 45 minus 15 that is 30 meter per second over 5 second so if you're gonna divide this you will get an acceleration which is equal to 6 meter per second square and that is the answer it only means that if this car is accelerating 6 meter per second square in 0 second we have 15 meter per second in one second we have 21 meter per second because you will add 6 plus 6 we have 27 meter per second plus 6 we have 33 meter per second plus 6 that will be 39 meter per second and plus 6 is 45 meter per second meaning in 5 second the velocity is already 45 meter per second let us have another example. A truck accelerated from 25 km per hour to 45 km per hour in 40 seconds. Calculate the average acceleration of the vehicle in km per hour and in meter per second. So we have the given initial velocity which is 25 km per hour. We also have the final velocity which is 45 km per hour and the time is 40 seconds. And what we are looking for is the acceleration. So we have A equal to the final velocity minus the initial velocity over time. So we have A is equal to 45 kph minus 25 kph 
over 40 seconds. So if we're gonna solve that, we have A is equal to 20 km per hour over 40 seconds. Now if we will solve, we will get A is equal to 0 0.5 km per hour times seconds. Now this is the answer. Now the second question, how are we going to change it in meter per second square? Meaning, we need to convert it. So we have A equal to 0 0.5 km per hour times second. So we have 0 0.5 km per hour times second. Multiply it with 1000 meter because there are 1000 meter in 1 km. So we can cancel kilometer. Multiply it and that is equal to 500 over R times second. So we will write it here. So times 1 R over 60 minutes because there are 60 minutes in 1 R. So we can now cancel hour times 1 minute over 60 seconds because there are 60 seconds in 1 minute. So we can cancel minute. So if we will multiply 500 times 1 times 1, that is equal to 500 divided by the product of 60 times 60, the answer will be 0 0.138 meter per second square. And that is our answer. Alright, let us have another example. Number 3. A car accelerates from rest at a constant rate of 3.5 meter per second square. What is the speed of the car 12 seconds later? So as you can see, our initial velocity is 0 because a car accelerates from rest. Our final velocity is unknown. The time spent is 12 seconds and the acceleration is 3.5 meter per second square. So what we are looking for is the final velocity. So again using this formula, but again what we are looking for is the final velocity. So we are going to solve this formula and get the final velocity. We have Vf or the final velocity is equal to the initial velocity plus the acceleration times t. So we need to substitute the given values. So we have 0 plus 3.5 times 12. So we have Vf is equal to 42 meter per second. And that is our answer. Number 4. A bus accelerates from an initial speed of 12 meter per second at a constant rate of 1.2 meter per second square and that is the acceleration what is the final speed of the bus after 15 seconds so we have the given initial velocity which is 12 meter per second the final velocity is unknown the time is 15 seconds and the acceleration is 1.2 meter per second square so again using the same formula that we used a while ago we have final velocity is equal to initial velocity plus a times t so we have 12 plus 1.2 times 15 so we have 12 plus 1.2 times 15 is 18 so 12 plus 18 that is equal to 30 meter per second so the final velocity is 30 meter per second next number number five a car driver traveling at 95 miles per hour is slams the brake and comes to rest in four seconds Calculate the average acceleration of the car in meter per second square. So as you can see, in this given example, the initial velocity is in miles per hour. But what we are looking for is the acceleration in meter per second square. So the first thing that we have to do to solve the problem is to convert the given initial velocity to meter per second. So we have 95 mile per hour. So we can multiply that to 1 hour over 60 minutes because there are 60 minutes in 1 hour. So we can cancel each hour. And we need to multiply that with 1 minute over 60 seconds so that we can cancel minute. And we can multiply that with 1 kilometer over 0 0.6214 mile since in 1 kilometer there is 0 0.6214 mile. So we can cancel mile. And to convert that to meter, we need to multiply that with 1000 meter over 1 kilometer. So we can cancel kilometer. Now if we will multiply 95 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 1000 over the product of 60 times 60 times 0 0.6214 times 1, the result will be 42.47 meters per second. So this is our initial velocity.
our final velocity is zero since the car driver slams the brake and comes to rest and the time spent is 4 seconds. So what we are looking for is the acceleration in meter per second square. So again using the formula final velocity minus the initial velocity over time, we have the final velocity equal to 0 minus 42.47 over 4. 0 minus 42.47 is negative 42.47 and negative 42.47 divided by 4 is equal to negative 10.6 meter per second square. So this is our answer. The acceleration is negative since the velocity decreased to 0. So this is our topic about acceleration and velocity. I hope you learned something from this video and if you want more videos like this, just click the subscribe button and the notification bell below this video so that you will be updated with our future uploads in this channel. So that's all for now and as always, have a nice day everyone.